my name is Richard Woodruff. I am a British volunteer. Uh, I have been here for two and a half years now, since the 20th of June 2022. And now I make these things, specifically FPV drones, to uh, help guys on the front lines defeat the enemy. So uh, I was working in publishing for seven years and a year and a half prior to the full-scale invasion, I was laying on a beach in Spain, uh, enjoying my life every day, drinking sangria and playing beach volleyball. Uh, so yeah, I, I was on a holiday. Uh, when the war broke out, I couldn't stay sat on a beach. Uh, I had to come help. I jumped on a bus, headed over the border and asked some lovely lady when I got to Lviv. At the time, there was no information uh, out there on the internet of how to actually help Ukraine because the Ukrainians were fighting the war. And I asked the lady there, where can I volunteer? How can I help? And she gave me a couple of options uh, across Ukraine. And that was how it happened back then. I got off of this bus and I looked around. And I was like, where, where's the rockets? Where's the fire? Like what, what's happening? Like where, where's the war? And, uh, and I, was just, I was just in disbelief about how incredibly beautiful and amazing everything was in Ukraine. And then I headed to Bucha and I saw all of the rocket holes in the walls. I saw the footprints of the Russian soldiers on the gates of these homes, knowing after seeing the videos that these people had been pulled, dragged out of their homes and killed. And that was when I saw the war and it was just, just devastating. Um, so yeah, and we were down in Nova Kokova uh, when the dam was blown up by the Russians, uh, rescuing people and animals from the floods. I had spent a year uh, traveling across the front lines, delivering humanitarian aid to, uh, to people, communities that were cut off by the invasion. Um, people that had had all of their local infrastructure completely destroyed by the Russians, and we were delivering food parcels to them because they, there wasn't any other option. In December last year, we started the FPV project and we've been doing this for 11 months now. We had no idea where we started. We just had uh, one of the best drone teams in Ukraine come to us and show us exactly how you build this little piece of perfection. So we were sat in a back room uh, building and disassembling and building and disassembling the same four drones because we didn't have the money to be able to buy more of these to send them off to the troops. Um, but now I don't build them anymore. Uh, I have a factory of 25 uh, international volunteers and Ukrainians that are building these drones uh, so we can produce over 50 of them per day in our factory, which is really, really cool. Um, so my job now is just telling the world and saying, hey, we are volunteers in Lviv. We're building these drones without cost to the soldiers. Um, no one gets paid. And for just the parts cost, we can get these to the front and they can make a real difference in the war destroying Russian equipment and saving Ukrainian lives. These have probably saved more Ukrainian lives than anything else, even more than medical equipment, because these are the things that stop guys dying in the first place because it holds back the Russian horde as they're heading towards our trench lines. And it's much better to send a 300 euro piece of electronics than a wonderful Ukrainian soul. Uh, Russia doesn't care if we kill another million Russian soldiers with these or with guns or rockets. It's it's crushing the economy and reducing their ability to actually continue and uh, fund this war. The second we take away their money, they can't do it. It's uh, a war of resources at this point. What, 50, 100 times in the past? Uh, they've tried destroying the Ukrainian language, banning the Ukrainian language. Uh, they don't want Ukraine to be independent and free and uh, they don't want Russians seeing how Ukrainians live. You know, they don't live under tyranny like the Russians do. Just don't give up supporting Ukraine and don't underestimate how important it is to just talk about Ukraine and uh, just be aware, look at the news, you know, pay attention when you know, Kharkiv, Kyiv gets hit by another load of rockets and don't think, oh, it's just another day. Um, yeah, that's all I'd say, just keep talking about Ukraine.